All right, so we're going to start off a little organization. Uh, what you see here is a student copying down his or her homework assignments. Okay, they keep it organized and separate. It's neat and readable. And you'll see, you'll notice there's a line next to each homework so that when they're done, they can check it off so that you know that it's completed. All right, so this is our online textbook. Uh, and here what you'll see is just the different titles and subcategories for each one. Okay, you can scroll through, it's very easy. You have main ideas, drawing conclusions, questions that go with it. Okay, so at the back, top of the key terms. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take notes. So I find the chapter that I wanna use, okay? I'm gonna locate a section that I wanna annotate or create notes for. Okay, so I found Jefferson alters the nation's course. So I'm gonna start off my title with President Jefferson. Okay, this is the big idea of my notes. Now I'm gonna zoom in. So what is the big idea of this section? So looking through the titles and briefly looking through the subtitles, the smaller ones, I found out that the US expanded its borders. That's the biggest one, okay? Second big idea of this section are the courts now have the ability uh, to declare laws unconstitutional or constitutional, and that's judicial review. All right, so I jump right into it, and I look at the big, the next big subtitle. All right, it has to do with John Marshall and the courts. So I label that all the way to the left as a one. Okay, for each other smaller idea, what the goal is, is to indent to the right, and that shows a supporting detail or a subordinate fact, sub meaning below. Okay. So I'm taking notes on John Marshall, and then I move to the next section. It goes all the way back to the left, number two. That's gonna be Marbury versus Madison, okay? Then the subordinate idea, the one that goes right below it, the next big thing is tells me about the case, and the supporting fact for that will be exactly what is judicial review. And this is what you could do for all your notes, and this organizes everything for any class, even history. All right, so we're gonna be talking about annotating. Um, basically, the whole idea is to interact with the text so that you force yourself to think about meaning, make connections, see the big picture, identify key terms and new ideas, um, as well as identify things that you're unsure of so that you can look them up later and, and grasp deeper meaning. So, so far here, we look at the title, uh, Strict versus Loose Construction. I kind of gave a brief definition based on prior knowledge. Okay, now I'm kind of briefly defining it as I go through it. I noted a problem on the top left about a debate. Okay, so using some vocabulary to kind of interpret some connections there. Um, now as I finish up, I'll see I'll circle the elastic clause and connect that um, to a loose interpretation, a loose construction, um, so that I'm seeing a connection in the ideas on that reading. Uh, and this is a great way to keep yourself on task and make sure that you're interacting with the text because many times we'll read something, either not understand it, or our mind wanders and we think about other things that may be intruding our consciousness. So this is a good way to focus us. It can be used even on pictures, on maps here. We're gonna see how I'm gonna break down you know, how the Louisiana Parish just doubles to the size of the US, uh, and that's gonna obviously play a key role as we move westward in US history. Okay, this has the same application when we talk about charts and graphs as well. Um, same thing, you know, you take vocabulary words, you want to see if you can define them so that it really focuses your attention. So export is selling goods, obviously you want to sell more. So we see that there's a decline under two specific occasions. One is the Embargo Act. On here we're defining embargo as stopping trade. And then the War of 1812 uh, is going to reduce our trade. And that's going to hurt American businesses. Okay, so that's one way we can interpret this. And these principles can also be used for test-taking strategies on multiple choice, which can definitely can be a, a, a problem area for many of us.
So defining the key, some of the key words in both the question as well as the answer choice helps us make a strong connection between the question and an answer choice. So I'm, I'm going to identify the Articles of Confederation as weak, go through and see how number two is way off. It's talking about slaves, you know, I mean, then, excuse me, about how not everyone can vote, such as slaves or women. And then that leaves us with only one answer choice, okay, that connects to a weak government. Same as seen here, the Constitutional Convention, okay, to fix the articles. Uh, then we'll see the three-fifths has to do with slavery, and the Great Compromise is going to have to deal with population. So I annotate that before I even look at the um, answer choices. All right, so it's not about amending. It's not about women's rights, possibly rep representation, and it's not about the rights of the accused, this Bill of Rights. So it's going to be number three, representation. So there we go, connection. Here are the Federal Papers talking about a strong government. Trying to pass the Constitution, the articles are already weak, and I'm going to use the same process that I use in the other ones to connect them. This ratification is passed, and we're trying to pass the Constitution. Okay, we can annotate on the eye. Okay, here we can, can annotate we actually left. right on the key on how to uh, highlight and take notes as we go through our readings. All right, I'm just going to swipe across something I feel is important. I can change the color of that to note different types of notes I'm going to take. I can underline key phrases in the, on the iPad. And then once I actually select it, I can take notes, right? So I can either define it, okay, connect to something bigger, um, pose a question, or just kind of synthesize some big key points there. Okay. So I can go through that um, through different points. All right, I can do that again to other parts of the text as I'm reading. I find other things that are important. I'm going to take some notes. And then eventually what I can do with this is I can go back uh, within the iPad and email myself these notes. Uh, and we'll take a look at that in a moment. Okay, there's my notes. I'm going to go back. All right, now here's the information. Now I go back in that little arrow. I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to email it to myself. Okay, send it to my school address. Oh, no, Shemari doesn't want it. Okay. All right, there I go. I have it. Now, uh, what I could do is even on the iPad, what I could do is I could take a screenshot, which I'm going to take the home button and the button at the top and I'm going to push them at the same time. You see a little flash. Now if I go into my pictures, I can take it, I can edit it, all right, and crop it so I just get the text that I want. All right. And then I'll have uh, my notes and I could either print them, to, save them, to, um, email them to myself, put them in a Word document, print them, you know, and that could be part of my homework. That could be just review. And that's what it looks like on the iPad and how it could be if you print your notes. Mm -hmm.